All right, y'all. So Media Takeout posted the following article. I think it was Wednesday, August 15th of 2018. And it was titled, Nicki Minaj jokes about trying to murder Safari. He should have, quote, dodged knife. Okay. Let me explain. Here's what the article says. Yesterday, Nicki Minaj's ex-boyfriend Safari came out and snitched on his ex, claiming that Nicki Minaj tried to murder him. Safari claims that Nicki stabbed him and he almost died. Among the many accusations, Safari claimed that at one point, <coughs> excuse me, he needed to be hospitalized after Nicki, quote, cut him and he, quote, almost died. Quote, I had to lie and tell them I was trying to kill myself so they wouldn't take you to jail. He wrote, quote, when things like that start happening more than once, it's time to dip. Safari, it's time to dip if it happens once. Hashtag Miss Andrew. But I'm going to talk about this in further detail in a separate video. But anyways, on her 2014 song, Bed of Lies from the album, The Pink Print, Nikki rapped, quote, I could tell you lying. Get the F out. Don't yell at me. I ain't mean to cut you. I ain't want to catch a felony. It, <laughs> I can hear the knife clicking now. It's unclear if those lyrics are about the same situation that Safari described in the tweet. Well, Nicki Minaj doesn't seem to be remorseful over her near murder. Last night, one of her fans made a joke on Safari's timeline, claiming that he should have, quote, dodged the knife. And Nicki Minaj quickly, quote, liked that post. Nicki Minaj in the... <clears throat> it's not going to mean Nicki Minaj is in the midst of of a complete and public breakdown after her new album Queen has been sputtering. The album is projected to sell less than half as well as her rival Cardi B's. Here's the tweet. Okay, this is the end of the article. The tweet was posted by somebody named Birthday Sir with a tongue out emoji and the devil horns emoji. I wonder if he's in the, I don't know, he has pink hearts around his head in his avatar picture. So what is, anyways, let me stop. How you doing? Anyways, all that pop locking you be doing and you couldn't dodge a knife. That's what he said about Safari. When Safari had tweeted about Nikki allegedly trying to uh, take a swipe at him. Swiper, no swiping. So do you guys believe that Nicki Minaj really went Kung Fu Kitty and, and tried to cut Safari up into... Jamaican patty squares. Do you really think that she was trying to cut him like some cocoa bread? Cut him up like some oxtail? Or do you think that he was just saying that out of spite? I mean, I don't think she denied it. The fact that she liked that post from that guy. She didn't talk about suing him uh, for slander, for saying that or anything. So, who knows? I mean, was there any truth to it? That's what we all want to know. Remember, so people forget, man. Nikki was rocking a ring a few years ago. I think Safari proposed to her. You know, people forget about that. Like, they were together for, like, what, like 12 years? You know? They were in a serious relationship. Like, they thought they were going to get married, have children, and everything. That was a real... I mean, they, they've probably been through so much drama, it's not even funny. All types of drama that we don't know about. But I thank you, Safari, for putting that information out there. Because, you know, if the shoe was on the other foot... And she alleged, just said that he stabbed her or even just hit her. His career would possibly be over. Hashtag me too, right? Domestic violence. Well, violence against men, period, is looked at as like not a big deal. But something like this in a relationship, since he's the man, he would just get blamed for it. Like, well, you probably cheated on her. You probably did this. You probably did that. You probably made her act that way. Crazy times, man. Hashtag misandry. Misandry is misogyny when it's done against a man, okay? M-I-S-A-N-D-R-Y. I use the hashtag misandry sometimes in some of my videos. I'm going to use it in this one. And I definitely have videos if you type in hashtag misandry. I should pop up on YouTube. But anyways, y'all, let me know what you think about it all below. Are you against Nikki allegedly stabbing him? Or do you think it's funny? Or uh, do you agree with the fan about the pop locket thing? Do you think that part was funny? Like, what do you think is funny out of this? Or do you think nothing's funny at all? Uh, and what do you guys think about the double standard when it comes to men's safety and how uh, violence against men is just like like clock clockwork? Damn, my voice just cracked. <laughs> like a damn teenager anyways guys let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe 
to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Be sure to hit that notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts to be notified when the videos get posted. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify. Share this video on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, two cans of string in the middle telepathically. That way everybody and their mama knows that your girl Nikki is a damn trip. Either way, whether it's true or not, she's a trip. All right, y'all. Meat Magazine, a.k.a. Meat Magadaddy.